Welcome back to the channel. I want to do a little uh, homestead update because it is now pretty late July and I haven't done one since last fall. So we're coming up on, we're about on our one year at this place actually. And uh, these are 16 little ducks. I forget what they are, khaki somethings. Anyway, these are a face of marketplace deal. We got all 16 of these for 100, 100 bucks. And uh, that was pretty good, considering everybody else was like 25 to like 40 bucks a duck. And um, but anyway, we need we need some more because our fleet was getting pretty low. We have a uh, a summertime villain running around, and I haven't figured that one out yet. Throw out some game cameras, so we'll see. Hopefully, pretty shortly, what what happens. But we also picked up these uh, two black Swedish. And we got these ones for free because a local person was getting rid of them. And uh, they came with a whole a whole setup. The two ducks came with a bunch of fence and a house and whatnot. But uh, we haven't had gotten the house in here yet. Um, wait until the road's done so I can I can figure that one out. So that'll be cool. We'll get another house going. And uh, for now, all these I don't know. They're just kind of like egg birds, I guess. But uh, I like to move into more of the meat the meat bird realm. And uh, so we can get a bunch of ducks and just constantly be cycling them out for for dinner and whatnot. And uh, salsa maybe, I guess. And maybe do some turkeys. I like to do some turkey. I think that would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we'll take a walk over to the, to the other birds and I'll show you why we had to get some more. So here we are with our geese and our one duck. Uh, that white geese, goose we added, mm, I don't know, not super long ago. Um, I don't know, maybe a few months ago, we added we added him to our three for our three geese, and then that's the one duck we had left that actually came with those geese. Um, and we lost our original two OG ducks this past couple weeks. We lost one this week, one the week prior to something. I don't know yet. I'm hoping we can figure that one out pretty soon. But these are the chickens we picked up. This also came from a local lady. A uh, friend of ours, actually the one who gave us that, that goose. And uh, she had a bunch of other chickens coming in, I guess. and Or a bunch that hatched. I think she had a bunch that hatched. And uh, so she gave us all our, all our old ones. And that was cool. So we didn't we didn't pay much of those. I don't, I don't remember what we gave her. but um, And then just made up this coop out of a 1 million percent scraps that we had. Or just a bunch of random stuff. Um, because, again, we don't really have a road in here yet. So hard to get material in here. So it's just a bunch of random stuff that we had, and uh, it worked out worked out well, I guess. And uh, well enough, they got this old piece of tongue groove that they're sitting on that she ripped down, and it's a little sitting sit and stick. We have one rooster; the rest of them are all just hens. But I like to move into meat birds with these too, because that would be cool. To, there's just so many eggs now that we don't have enough for. Uh, this is a little garden she started, uh, looking to get a lot bigger next year. Kind of just learning the gardening thing this year, and. Uh, made out of old slabs, old slab wood from a buddy of mine. He gave us a bunch of slab wood for free because he just burns it in the winter time. And he and his buddies burn it, and uh, they can't do anything with it right now. So they're gonna have so much. So he gave me a bunch of that. I can go get some more, kind of whenever I want. But this is the start of her little garden. She's figuring that one out. I don't have much interest in a garden. It's just not me. A um, bunch of scraps we gotta burn. Next time we have a little fire, it's our giant burn pit. And then the next real task here is, uh, well, we're working on the road, and uh, I gotta get the lawnmower going. So I don't know if you guys ever seen this lawnmower, because I definitely don't think you did, because we got it in the winter time. But I mowed this lawn at all this year, and it's not growing worth a frick. It is actually really not growing that much at all. Um, once you start getting there, it's getting to more of like a hay situation, which the whole field's hay. And I'm, you know, you might be saying, Oh, Ben, you're getting a little lazy because I have a bush hog and I have a tractor. A little cat. What are you doing? Oh, off like a flash. And uh, I haven't mowed it yet. I just, I don't want to mow it because I like the, so for me, I like the look of it for one. But two, because of all the rough housing we did out there in the wintertime is coming in super thin. Like that whole far section is like very spotty. And I was trying to give it a chance to all grow and I'll get some, uh, 
I'll get to growing again before I cut it so it's all healthy when I cut it. And I think this coming year I'm going to try to find a disc and like a tiller. And uh, I want to disc the whole thing. And and I don't know if I'm going to fertilize the whole thing necessarily. But I can do something. Um, at least turn over the soil and whatnot. And uh, try to get that a little healthier so I get And maybe mix in something a little more desirable for my situation. But there I have this old lawnmower that I got given to me. Um, pretty much everything works. The motor runs a single buggy around. It buggy around fine. And over the winter, uh, one tire was flat. The back one was all fucked up to begin with. And this one went flat. So I've got to pick up a tube for that and pick up a tube for this. And this one's definitely seen better days. She's been flat for a long time. But this thing starts up and goes and moves pretty good and, and does what I need. I just got to hook the deck up. He didn't give me any of the pins. So I just got to buy pins, really, and then hook it up. Not so you can see it, but pretty much just the height, height pin that goes into there. And then, yeah, I don't really know the rest of the hooks. Oh, yeah, there's pins in there, those arms that go back there. So I pretty much just need three pins. And uh, probably some sort of, no, well, he's supposed to have some sort of bolt to lock in the PTO. But that thing ain't going nowhere once it's on there unless the whole deck falls off. So I ain't worried about that. But, yeah, so that's the lawnmower. And, uh. We'll see. I want to try to fig, pick up a, a flail mower or, or, I don't know, I don't really want a finished mower, but I'd like to pick up a flail and for the tractor. And I'll just mow the whole thing with the tractor. I'll plant something else besides grass. Um, but yeah, old bush hog, almost ready to go. Needs new blades. Got the pins. I got the wrong blade, so. Anyway, but that's a little fall, or not the fall update, the uh, summer update, I suppose, with the birds. And, uh. Progression is happening. There'll be more in the future too. So let me know what you want to see, but let me know what you, what other birds are like. I'd like to do some meat birds and maybe some turkeys or such, and I think that would be pretty cool. And uh, just to basically just make our own food out here, and kind of it's the meat version of the of the garden there. But anyway, we got to start getting the wood season pretty soon. We got to finish this road, so a lot of it's gonna happen this weekend. I got a lot of dirt and a lot of rock set up. I just need to. Uh, Lay down some more trees. I don't know, maybe I'll do an update of that when I'm going. But anyway, thanks for watching.